I've experienced discrimination where they've told us, um, what are you doing in this country? Or why are you, why are you here? You're taking American jobs. But it's not like that. These immigrants that are coming are mostly field workers. So they're the ones that feed most of our country. I think stereotypes can be solved as like just showing the opposite of what they're saying. My name is Maria Cuentas and I am 16 years old. I go to North Monterey County High School and I am in a club called Teen Leadership Council of Castroville and we help the community and we are also doing the We Schools program on campus. So we also take on global actions. Castroville is known for the world's capital of artichokes. Yeah, we're really, it's like kind of different. Here we actually deep fry them. That's what we are known for, deep fried artichokes. And yeah. Castroville, it's a probably, uh, it's very eclectic. Uh, we have like our cowboys. So yeah, we will have, you know, people that are involved with horses and we have Aztec dancing. A lot of people are involved in their culture that way. Uh, the low rider clubs, we have a lot of low rider clubs. We are surrounded by fields, Castroville is surrounded by fields, and there's a lot of field workers that actually live in Castroville that work on those fields. My dad is a tractor driver for the company Church Brothers, so he like cultivates the soil. And then my mom is a, a caregiver. caregiver, yeah. First it was them, like they struggled, but they also wanted to become like, you know, something big and like help us out, or the next generation. Lo que inspira a uno porque este uno de mi parte yo batallé mucho cuando me vine y este incluso no tenía donde vivir, viví en un carro viejo que, que me dieron unos amigos y, y todo eso este como como te digo todo eso se le queda a uno y ahí agarra uno que dice no hay que valorar las cosas cualquier cosita que tenga uno hay que valorarlo. Our parents they they got that help and now it's us to help. Like, it's our turn. Um, Este también este ahí va por el mismo camino. Las apoyamos en lo que ellas este sigan su camino. So, we're at the Mosani Middle School and right here um, we store all of our resources for the homeless. Um, we weren't actually able to have one in Castroville because um, we didn't have the space yet. So, we store everything here and we're so um, looking for a spot inside Castro. So it's like really abandoned. People say this place is haunted. Um, my brother supposedly he saw a girl over there, down that hall, but I don't know if it's true. <laughs> um, this used to be a cafeteria so the kids could come eat, but now we've used it since we saw that it wasn't being used a lot. We used it to store our resources for the homeless. Um, this is the sweaters, like we organized. It feels really nice because like, it was first overwhelming to see all these, um, like all the clothes, like what, like all these people need this. And like now to see that it's like going down, it's like, oh, it's actually being used. That's, it's helpful. So I think the, the thing that probably touches me the most about these kids and all of the work that they do is 85% of our district, our area here um, is considered socioeconomically disadvantaged yet these kids are going out and trying to find people that need help and helping them. When in actuality, they are the ones, you know, they need help, they need people to help them out, but they don't feel that way. It feels great to see this change that like we've created. I come from a family of advocates. Um, my parents um, were part of uh, the big movement, um, you know, coming from Cesar Chavez all the way up to LULAC, which is the Latin League of the United States Citizen. I was a teen mom at my senior year, I became pregnant. So I guess that's where my passion comes for these kids. It's like, <laughs> we're gonna watch them. <laughs> is, is, you know, I don't talk about it often because I'm just a mover, but I want kids to have more opportunities. So that's where my passion comes from. I knew I was like, gonna cry. 
<laughs> Yvette, she's she's this crazy person like she <laughs> she drives around doing a million things but she's not just doing it as a job she's doing it out of her heart castro is this town that usually gets forgotten about and also um is stereotyped into saying that it's known for violence or known for gangs when people say that i think i think they're thinking like oh small town big problems so Julian was at a party that was at another former student's house and two young men who were not invited, were not supposed to be there, came to the party. A fight broke out that actually he was not involved in and he went to go help one of his friends. One of the two young men that was not supposed to be there pulled out a gun and shot him. I didn't even know. It was hard to process. It was upsetting knowing that another tragedy happened and the stereotype gets back up. Julian Cantero went to school here. Uh, he was involved with ASB, uh, football, he was a captain for the football team, captain for the baseball team, just one of those all-around wonderful kids. He like bonded with everybody. Everyone, whether it's the teachers here, students here, and he graduated from here three years ago. Okay, now what can we do to, to make it better? First it was we need to help the family out, then it was we're all hurting. The vigil came out of this. And I know there was plenty of people that didn't know him and they still went to his vigil, they still went to his funeral. and. That's what we do. That's what we do in this community. We, yeah, we may not know each other, but we still help each other out. We pick them right up and help them out. Over a thousand people were there. I think it showed a huge impact because we didn't fight violence with violence. We fought violence with peace. So showing people that this community is capable of doing that, I think that stereotype, like it's already like, it's wrong. Okay, I'm gonna ask you as a question. If it relates to you, step forward. Step in if you like eating sushi. <laughs> okay, step back out. Um, step into the circle if you speak another language. Other than English, sorry. <laughs> step in if you feel like the stereotype about Castroville saying that it's all about violence isn't true. I'm gonna step in this one with you guys. Does anybody else have a reason as to why you got involved with the group you're involved in? I know we're a mixture of t uh, Teen Leadership Council and Interactor. Um, I chose to get involved because, you know, like we have a small town, so like everybody knows everybody, of course. So like we all want, so of course we're all gonna grow together. We're trying to change our community so to better ourselves and the future. One more question for you before we play another game. Who here is excited to go to We Day on Thursday? Woo! Our hard work it paid off like we're right there people are passing by and like we're getting pictures actually when Demi Lovato passed by I didn't get to like pull my phone out on time so I didn't get to record and I was really upset I feel inspired that all these celebrities are taking on the same actions that we are I feel like a room filled of students like this we are looking for a better future She's just a great girl all around. You know, I think she's um, she's thinking. She has big ideas and big aspirations, and I can't wait to see what she does. Um, si ustedes creen que nosotros somos esta familia de nosotros, sabes cómo estamos practicando de el programa uh, de We. Uh, ustedes creen que nosotros somos una familia de ese con los mismos valores, con los mismos valores. Yo digo que sí. <laughs> Yeah, I think we can say that, that we're a wee family. Yeah. <laughs>